there were some interesting data presented at this meeting regarding chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia has become one of the most interesting diseases in oncology based on the availability of numerous targeted drugs that are yielding very real improvements in the ongoing care of patients with CLL. That includes immunomodulators such as lenalidomide, and it includes kinase inhibitors targeting pathways within CLL cells, including the BTK inhibitor, ibrutinib, and the PI3 kinase inhibitors, idelalisib and duvalisib. One question that emerges with the availability of these drugs in second line and third line treatments for patients is do they have a role in the initial management of CLL? And so what we did is conducted a phase one clinical trial incorporating, incorporating lenalidomide with bendamustine and rituximab, a very standard chemotherapy backbone in the treatment of CLL. And what we found is you could safely combine lenalidomide with BR. We found that the hematologic toxicity was likely accentuated with this combination. And a number of patients, though we could give them the drug and we, though we had no dose limiting toxicity at our target dose level of 10 milligrams of lenalidomide combined with standard bendamustine and rituximab, the majority of patients at that level did ultimately require dose reductions because of accruing hematologic toxicity over time. However, the remission rate was excellent and there have been no patients who've actually progressed on treatment or since completing treatment with a median follow-up now of approximately one year. So in looking at CLL, we are finding that we can incorporate lenalidomide safely and effectively with very encouraging outcome data. Elsewhere in CLL, we're looking at other combinations, looking at incorporating the BTK inhibitor abrutinib and looking at targeting PI3 kinase with idelalisib. One other interesting abstract that was presented at this meeting and oral session in CLL was a study in relapse CLL. And this was also a clinical trial, but it was a randomized clinical trial, also looking at bendamustine and rituximab as a standard comparator, but asking whether bendamustine, rituximab, and ibrutinib would be superior to bendamustine, rituximab alone, based on the very exciting activity of ibrutinib, which has garnered FDA approval as monotherapy in the relapse setting. What this randomized clinical trial demonstrated was a significantly superior progression-free survival in patients who received bendamustine, rituximab, and ibrutinib. And in fact, the risk of progression was decreased by 80% in patients who received the triple combination of therapy compared to bendamustine rituximab alone. Now, these data are very exciting and certainly very appealing. But there is an important question, which is how much is the bendamustine and rituximab adding to abrutinib given how exciting abrutinib acts all on its own? And that is not addressed by this particular clinical trial. What we can say is the complete remission rate from ibrutinib, bendamustine, rituximab was still rather low on the order of 10 to 12 percent. And that is not that dissimilar from what we see with ibrutinib monotherapy uh, in the treatment of patients with relapsed disease. And so the next question that we'll need to ask is yes, we can combine bendamustine, rituximab with ibrutinib, but do we need to combine bendamustine, rituximab with ibrutinib, or would ibrutinib alone be a better tolerated and similarly effective chemotherapy sparing approach? That question is being addressed in real time right now by the Alliance Clinical Trial Group, which is doing a three-arm randomized trial in previously untreated CLL, with a third of patients receiving bendamustine rituximab, a third of patients receiving abrutinib alone, and a third of patients receiving abrutinib rituximab. I think that clinical trial, once accrued and analyzed, is poised to completely change the standard of care in patients with previously untreated CLL who are over the age of 65, which is the uh, population being targeted in that study.